All right, folks, welcome back. Today we are headed into Edwin Watts, one of our favorite golf stores in all of Orlando, but never know what you're going to find, so... Let's go find it. Let's go find it. Man, it gives me every single time we come in here how many used sets of irons that they have. This store took over some of the overflow because the uh, Tampa store closed, mm -hmm. but uh, tons That's of stuff crazy. in here. Man, starting out with some absolutely stunning irons, too. The uh, Wilson Staff 2-iron all the way down to the pitching wedge. I actually uh, use some Wilson FG62s whenever my game is good. If it's not, then I actually use a set over here the uh, Callaway uh, Apex, a little bit easier to uh, hit, but it got a ton. There is just an absolute... It's overwhelming. Yeah, overwhelming, for yeah. <laughs> Lost for words on uh, this stuff over here. Let's uh, get started off with some uh, Mizunos. Got some MP20s going for $4.69, a, a terrible deal. Got a couple of sets of those, $3.99 on these ones. Oh man, these ones actually have uh, better shafts in there. Steel fibers, 80 grams, got like the... Uh, Mets or uh, Florida Gators yeah. uh, colorway going on those uh, multi compound grips. Got some uh, Pro 221s going for 974. Man, they got a ton of Mizunos in there. Mizuno still got Pro's yeah. Still plastic in some of them. They had a, a combo set for sure because the mm. three and four and still have the uh, plastic on there. JPX 900s still going uh, strong at the uh, 659. Those were like the hot irons. Those are like when uh, Brooks Kepka used them. The uh, value on those shot up like crazy. Mm -hmm. And then he has uh, switched over from Nike to those. And then now he's with Strixon. See what he's got over here. Got some, oh man, this is all lefty stuff over here. Some Ping I 210s going for 800. Got some uh, 714 AP2s. Well, it's not a terrible deal on that. 299. Oh, it's only a five through pitching wedge. Still a, a good deal on that. T200s going for 889. Rocket Blades for $229. That's not a bad deal on those. Mm -mm. Very similar to the first clubs you ever had. Mm -hmm. You had the uh, stage ones of those. Let's see. We've got some Hanma clubs over here. We found a Hanma for the first time at a uh, garage sale. We see them all the time, but it was the first time we saw them at a uh, garage sale. I kind of freaked out on that, as I tend to do. That was on the main channel, though. But uh, still more Mizunos over here. Got a whole ton of uh, pings. Got some ping I-20s, which have held their value like crazy. Going for 400 ping I-15s with graphite shafts on there. Going for 189 Man, they've got a ton of the uh, older pings. 249 on the ping I-20s. Those will get snatched up here pretty quickly. Got some PXGs back here. The 0311Ps. Seven ninety nine. dollars yeah. Ping G25s for 300 Oh, yeah. You never see those things uh, stay in mm -hmm. the stores for very long. Super popular. Got a bunch of Strixon irons over here. Got the Z. I think these are the five, six. Yeah, C5. Oh, this got the Miyazaki shafts. They've had those in here for a while. I'm surprised no one's picked those up at 500 bucks. It's a good deal on those. Man, <laughs> even more. We're just going through the uh, irons right now. Wait until you see how many uh, used woods and wedges that they have. Got the M2 Tours. They're actually kind of hard to find. Going for $349. That's about what they go for on eBay. Seen anything crazy? RSIs. Are those the TPs? Nope. RSIs for $229. All right, checking out the driver. It's kind of funny. Last time we were here, they were all arranged by brand. And that was like probably a month ago. And since then, they've all been moved been around already. Up. But uh, we got some Hanmas in here going for $299 on that one. Got a Ping G425. The prices on those should be coming down pretty soon. $349. Prices never come down on the uh, TaylorMade M2. Although that's a 2017. Not as yeah. popular. $180 on that one. $180 on that. Oh, we got a, uh, man, they've had this thing in here. I'm surprised no one that weird like me came in here. Uh, it is $100, but a little old school uh, C4. It's like the first all carbon. I think Yonex had it like a long, long time ago. And then that was the big one. Now TaylorMade and Stealth is claiming they're, you know, <laughs> regurgitating technology. It's a common theme among our golf clubs. Got an X2 Hot Pro. That one's slightly harder to find. $140 on that. The Three Wood has a huge uh, collector's market on that one. Got a Bridgestone J40 going for 99 What shaft is that? I don't recognize that one. Uh, oh, Matori. Got a uh, TaylorMade burner. Oh, we got the uh, R9 Super Try. This thing was super easy to hit. $99 on that one. Not seeing anything crazy. Let's check out the fairway woods over here. Haven't found anything crazy yet. Got the M Glore. I forget how to pronounce that. $199. Oh, man. They had an old Sonar Tech in here. Well, they're all old because it's out of business. But this one is the uh, newer one, the NP99. Th uh, $39.99 on that. Got all the NV shaft on there. That is... That would be fun just to hit in the uh, net, regardless of uh, whether we get it. What else we got over here? Oh, here's the uh, old Sonar Tech that I was talking about, the original one. Aldi Lot NV Shaft. What's this one going for? $39.99. Sweet. Some old school nostalgia right there. Uh, speaking of that, we got a really old uh, King Snake right here. 
I'm surprised they took that in. It is $9.99. Well, it is weird that they would take that uh, club in. But uh, let's see what they got in terms of the driving irons and the hybrids. Got old school Adams right here going for $70. What do you got in terms of the driving irons? One time we were in here and they had like all, they had like three or four tailor-made UDIs, and uh, it was the 2014 model ones, yeah. the one that I really like. And I was like, yeah, oh, they'll have them here next time. Oh, I think it was like we got distracted and then we completely. Well, forgot. I get very easily uh, distracted. <laughs> felt but, bad about uh, that one. <laughs> yeah, let's go see if they've got any uh, cool wedges for us. Got some. Oh, that would go perfect with my FG62s, which we were talking about before. Perfect old school. Yeah, ping eye two. two orange stuff. That'd be good for you. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit flatter. Better for shorter people. Which I am. <laughs> <laughs> what else do we got? I need to stop saying what else do we got. Oh, this is kind of cool. Old Yonex wedge. Actually, that's one of the newer ones. The uh, Not the last time we were there, but the two times ago at the uh, PJ Merchandise Show, the Yonex booth, they had some crazy nice looking clubs. They had a set of blades that I totally, I was too nervous at the time to ask to hit them. <laughs> but uh, definitely would have uh, liked to do that if they're back there this year. Yep, get a kind of really beaten up that thing is seen better days i was seeing if it was oh yeah custom paint. yeah custom paint job on the Voki over there oh man absolute classic <laughs> tour edge 588 tiger used these ones i think he used the uh, rtg not the uh, gun middle when he first came out let's see well i think we're definitely going to uh, hit the sonar attack and then we're going to check out the po oh my goodness that is that's where they keep this guy to Cameron's, and it's oh, literal hello. overflow. Oh, That's pretty crazy. Let's go check those out. Before we head over to the uh, Sky to Cameron's, I was looking through the uh, fairway woods again, and this is one of the clubs that I regret selling the most, a Adam Speedline Super LS. I had the 13 degree of this, and it was impossible to hit. This is the 15 degree, got the Kurokage shaft in there. 39.99 we're gonna have an old school uh, fairway yeah. wood uh, battle <laughs> over there. But uh, let's see what they got in terms of the uh, Sky to Cameron. Uh, a couple of them are sick putters. Got a uh, Golo over here. We actually bought a Golo uh, at this. Um, Edwin wants two twenty nine. I think we got ours for like hundred and twenty dollars. It was a little beaten up, but it was still uh, really cool. Let's see, I can see the prices. I won't name them all out for you, but this one is awesome. Kind of like the Ping Zing style, oh, yeah. going for two eighty nine. I forget what head shape that's called. Almost looks like the uh, Brad Faxon model, but I'm not sure if his had the uh, answer hosel on there. One of the best putters of all time. Eh, got like a 1.5 i think this one is uh 2.5 shows you what i know going for 320 dollars oh yeah <laughs> that is pretty cool ping blackout grip not the pistol grip though this one is funny you got uh scotty cameron with a uh, highlighter marking on it 229 a little uh, extra alignment aid right there <laughs> it's kind of a uh, goofy whoa are those circle t screws what in the world I don't know if those are legit though. They look like really, I don't know what this, is this a circle T? I don't know if this is legit. No, see the uh, the weights right there, they're oh, circle yeah. T. Huh. You guys will have to comment below, but from just looking at it, that looks like really, really off. <laughs> don't be all. 249, yeah, <laughs> I'm not sure what's going on with this guy right here. Also, this is like ridiculously short. Yeah, and I feel like they're, they wouldn't be the difference in colors. The yeah. Blue and, yeah, and like the inlay of like the gel mm -hmm. on the, uh, it's like really weird. Well, well, there you go. I ain't gonna <laughs> comment one way or another, but that, that one doesn't look, uh, something's not quite right there. But uh, let's check out the uh, left-handed ones over here. Got a PXG putter. I think that's a 0211 model. Uh, nope, it's the, uh, what? It's so hard to read. <laughs> i have a, a pxc brand and it doesn't look anything like that well mine's right-handed but it doesn't look anything like that i haven't seen that one before got a little uh, thrown off right there got a, a cobra 3d print nope <laughs> it's just winning over here with the left hand you throw them uh, backwards and i got no idea what they are got a, a ping sedona looking putter nope it's a zb2 well well i'm uh, off my game right there yeah Stay out of the lefty <laughs> section for sure. That PXG putter totally threw me off. Also, yeah. that Scotty Cameron looks really weird. But uh, let's go uh, hit some fairy woods. <laughs> oh, man. I remember these things. Like, for a fairy wood, they almost feel like a blade. They're so good when you hit them out of the middle, but they're not very forgiving. Also, this is the Sonar Tech. We're really good at telling you what we're doing. <laughs> let's see if we can get this one over 250. Cool. Warm up for the Adams. I know I can get that oh, one over yeah. 250. Gonna 
carry further, but I don't think it's gonna roll as much. Mm. Let's try. 240. Let's keep going. Ah. All right, let's see if we get the atoms over. Cool. I think I'm a little <laughs> overconfident on my ability, though. Uh, the shaft's cut down. It's not fair. <laughs> Straight yeah. Go. These things are so nice. long. It's ridiculous. They just come out with no spin whatsoever. That's crazy. That's what the LS is, the uh, low spin model of these. They are not forgiving at all, although they are more forgiving than a Sonar Tech. Yes. I used to have one of those, and uh, it had the, uh, man, what are those called? The Aldi Law Ice Chefs, the purple ones. Huh. That was a snap hook machine for me. <laughs> I don't think that's a tool you need in your bag, but fun. Yeah. You never know when the uh, duck hook will come But a good block. snap hook comes in handy. Oh, These things are just money. I don't know why <laughs> I ever sold that. That's even further. Dang, 257. For a fat old guy with a cut down shot. Let's see if we can get the 260. There you go. Oh yeah, for sure. Oh, <laughs> 270. There you go. That's pretty awesome. Best $40 I've ever spent. Right? It's cheaper than our first day. I would say you're the best $40 I've ever spent. Oh, thanks. I don't know That's where I was going with that. I don't know either, but thank you. <laughs> well, how about that? $40 well spent. Oh, this yeah. is definitely going straight in the bag. And I think the uh, shaft is cut down. I might uh, look into that on some of uh, my clubs. Yeah. Because I was absolutely killing that. <laughs> Literally was working. Didn't uh, sacrifice any distance. No. In fact, I probably gained some. But I uh, hope you guys did like this video. Daily vlog number 34-ish. 35 and a half. 34 and a half. Ish. Yeah, but uh, definitely a, a fun time. If you're in Orlando, they definitely have the, um, I said definitely a thousand times, but. Uh, they definitely have the most used irons, for yeah, sure. For sure. Most used irons that I've ever seen in my entire life. Yeah. But hope you guys did like this video. I think we're almost at 12,000 subscribers. Yes, thank you guys. We got some bangers coming over on the uh, main channel. So yeah. definitely uh, stay tuned. If you stay found tuned. this one remotely interesting, you're going to like the main channel a lot. We'll link to that in the uh, description, yes. but. Hopefully you like this one too. Also, Ashley's shirt, kind of amazing. It is. It's very comfy too. Meet my friends, fish and chips. Meet my friends, fish and chips. <laughs> I hope you guys did like this video. Do like, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. We'll get a thousand likes on this video, and Ashley will go into uh, one of the simulators. She's no. still afraid of them. That's because you've had some like rogue things happen. You literally had like a club head bone snap off on you. It did snap off. Yeah, so I'm still nervous. You need a, a little bit more likes than that one. You could toe shank it straight into the machine and like break it four thousand dollars. I think about that every time I go in there. That's not helping your case. Oh, no, but I think about that. that. <laughs> oh, yeah. I guess that's the opposite of helping. But I hope you guys did like this video. Like, subscribe, and see you next time, guys. Thanks for watching.